As far as I know, the only star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for costume design is Edith Head. With absolutely no design experience, she borrowed one of her artist friend's sketchbook and got a job at Paramount Pictures. Fun fact, her first task supposedly was draping an elephant. This was a very male-dominated field, and she didn't get noticed until the 30s when she famously designed Dorothy L'Amour's sarong dress for the film Hurricane. In the 40s, she gained more notoriety for designing Ginger Rogers' famous mink dress in the film Lady in the Dark. She worked with many Hollywood starlets such as Betty Davis, Elizabeth Taylor, Audrey Hepburn, and Barbara Stanwyck. In 1949, the Academy finally created the Best Costume Design category. She was nominated 35 times and won eight times, her first being for the heiress, her last being for the sting. Fun fact, originally there were separate categories for Best Black and White Costume Design and Best Color Design. They stopped that in the late 60s. Because Alfred Hitchcock would only work with Edith Head, she switched over to Universal Studios after over 40 years at Paramount. One of the highlight of her careers in the 70s was designing the women's uniform for the United States Coast Guard. Fun fact, Brad Bird said the character of Edna Mode in the Pixar film The Incredibles was designed after Edith Head. This is Todd Pickering for Walk of Fame Wednesdays. I will see you next week. In Hollywood.